everyone, it's Fashionista Seems. We're back with an all new mating game. I done lost count. 106? Ah, I'm surprised I remembered. Oh, we have a new bachelor. Oh my god, Evil Colonel Sanders is back. This ought to be an interesting show, and so is Cletus. <laughs> Take it away, Tink! Why, thank you, Antique Farts Bells. Welcome back to an all new mating game. I tell you, Fred. I hope this is a decent de Oh, well, what am I doing? Ain't of Colonel Sanders here. I can't be that decent. <laughs> we have a new bachelorette! Riley Diamond! Hello. She sounds normal, Fred. I think I like her. Oh, oh why did we put her up with these people? She's on the Let's Play Riley's Adventures! Oh, yeah. On Ginny Sims' channel. Or used to be. It will be back at some point. Oh, <laughs> We're some new characters! Yeah. Heard. Returning! Evil Colonel Sanders! Ah! I don't know if Freddy's doing it again. Win! Returning! Cletus Lee! Hey everybody, I'm here! With my arm in there. Hey, it rhymed. <laughs> And of course, as always, in our third chair, gnome loving Apple. I am her. I think he's about to cry. I probably am. Evil Colonel Sanders is fucking scary as hell, but I do like his chicken. And of course, on the camera, as always, our lovely Fred. Hello, Fred. Hi, Tank. How are you? I'm. I'm here, Fred. I I I love the young lady, but Evil Colonel Sanders, I don't know about. I'm kind of concerned for her case. I am too. Hopefully she won't pick him. I don't think she will. He's evil. Alright, go ahead, Riley, with your first question. Uh. Oh, hey, oh, no. Look at evil Colonel Josh Sanders. Arba, <laughs> Karu, it's soy. I swear we I must. don't. Who is this old man? Uh. He's too old for that oh, young like, lady, uh. I bet. I don't know what the hell, some fucking damn ghost scared the shit out of me the other day. I scared back a scream, and the ghost picked me up and threw me in the air. What the hell? I thought we were supposed to start a fucking question, not your fucking life story, please, hell. Oh, Genshima. Yeah, I know. I, I like to open up bottles of whiskey for you. I know. Okay. Alright, Riley, sorry, go ahead. It's okay, Tink. That's my number one. <laughs> yes! You're a good dog. I would love to be a comedian Fun one day. What do you do for a living? I make Kentucky Fried Chicken! They'll love it, try it! It's ah. good! I thought Colonel Sanders died a long time ago. I hate it when people say that. I'm evil, Colonel Sanders. And I'm still alive. Uh, okay. Sarah Bin don't be I killed love. the other one. What? Chips. I don't know. The, who cares? So what a beaming. No, I don't serve liquor at my damn oh, restaurant. I'll be fucking sodas. That's bullshit. You Herba can shoot your tail bear and whiskey and stuff. Well, I'd go the there more if you did. I don't care. You'll eat the fucking oh, chicken. I'm oh, like yeah. it, damn it. What the hell? <laughs> Should be the Colonel yeah, Sanders for a last question? No, no, some cupcakes either, you idiot! Yeah. It'd be good if you did. <laughs> Shut up! She's trying to ask questions. She's a nice girl. We like to have her back sometime. We don't get nice ladies very often. Bachelor number two. Yes. I would love to be a comedian one day. What do you do for a living? Well, I was a Ghostbuster, but that mm, Gidry man never showed up, so I'm looking for a new job. I don't know what I want to do yet, though. Comedians are cool. I like to laugh. That guy take you five years to get a fucking damn sentence out here, boy. <laughs> Stu? I'm watching, brother! 
What the hell, damn dragon alley? I'm gonna get your ass. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Yes, ma'am. I would love to be a comedian one day. What do you do for a living? <laughs> it pokes berry burst tie colors. I'm on here every week. I do paranormal poke on Jenny Sims channel. Aiming up with that poke on Fascination Sims channel, but I was not on this week though. But I understand it was her birthday and she wanted to do a collab with Jenny Sims. That's her daughter, so it was fine with me. Oh, I heard of you, Ed. Now, thank you. And of course, I have done stripping shows and whatever. I'm just all over the place, really. I'm a huge fan of you, so I'm my Uncle Cliff. That's cool as hell. I do love comedians. I like to hear you do some stuff sometimes. I like to laugh at it. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Bachelor number one. What, young lady? With soup. Alice Fredashay. I want Kentucky Fried Chicken. Alice Don't Fredichet. listen to him. Hell. He's trying to get everybody to eat his fucking chicken. She fucking overpriced. No, it's not. It's worth it. Would you let oh. the young lady talk? My God. Huh. My favorite animal is a dog. What is your favorite animal? Chicken! That mm -hmm. figures. Huh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Don't you fucking touch Smokey and possess his ass, ah. you motherfucker. I whip your ass. Ah. Uh, or a bear me taste like. Mm. Uh, hell no! You better fucking sit down, you old coop. What's going on? I have no idea. Bachelor number two. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Watch you, Paza. Let's go. My favorite animal is a dog. What's your Glassy. favorite animal? <laughs> My favorite animal is. I had a pet skunk when I was a kid one time. I cut his sack off with a butcher knife and he died. I felt bad. I was only about five years old. Yeah, what the, what the hell was that? Oh, now it's raining again? Get a fucking roof, hell! Uh -huh. Woo! Uh -huh. But my favorite uh -huh. animal uh -huh. is a dog. I love dogs. I like to have a coon dog. Rain don't hurt me. I got a hat on. Bachelor number three. Yes, ma'am. My favorite animal is a dog. What is your favorite animal? Man, I got Smokey over here. He's a bear, but he's a gnome, so... I guess bear gnomes. They're my favorites. Huh? Oh, it's coming to Elfris. <laughs> what is going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the moon sound. Mm -hmm. oh, I've never been to Florida, oh. really. Oh, waxing <laughs> us. It's thundering here, actually, too. <laughs> this would be a fucking long one. Always, damn it! <laughs> That's their number one. Yes! I am from Windenburg, where you already well, know the handle for you. It's a gym. How do you know where I'm from? Yeah. Well, you're from well, you're from Uba. 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 I'm from Kentucky! Yeah. Come there sometime! Uh, hey, Mon, he got hit in the head with a hammer. Can't remember shit sometimes, Mon. We're for Brandon to back, please! Thanks, Nadine. What the hell, my chair? I'm from who? Brandon Bay, originally. It rained a lot there. I'm on the moon. I heard it's actually sunny there. Maybe we'll be neighbors. Maybe. Bachelor number three. I am from Lindenburg. Where are you from? Originally, I was born and raised. Well, most of the time, raised. Well, sometimes. Oh, I, I was born in Strangerville. Oh. I heard about 
And I'm back there now, but right now I'm in Shalani doing it. LT down. There really ain't room for you to run around in there. You're gonna end up fucking knocking somebody down here. I heard a lot of strange things happen. They do. I had to fucking feel with it. Oh my god, Free, watch out. Fucking mama playing. Hey, I fucking saved the whole damn town. I'm a hero, liar. Oh no, the camera broke! But hell, yeah, but it said it broke. <laughs> Are we doing a fucking threesome? Hell no. Help me! Why are you mopping the floor? Ah! <sighs> uh, <laughs> it's a conductor! Wetness brings electricity, you dumbass! I keep coming, you fucking dumbass! Yo, motherfucking chicken and legged motherfucker! Hell! I swear. I swear. I heard there was a man here called Fly Man. I don't know him. I'll have to come on in when he's here. Maybe at least I can take my chicken. Um, go ahead, Riley. Why you're so rudely interrupted? It's okay, team. You're mopping my shoes. Sorry about that, buddy. And puddles in here. I don't like it. I'm soaking wet. Bachelor number one, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a white suit! Okay, what? what are you wearing? Ah. A white shirt. What? Is that cool? There we I'm wearing a yellow jacket with a green shirt, green pants. I'm wearing a hat and yellow star glasses. Chips. And a green tennis shoe. What the heck was that? Was that a spider? Huh? The itchy bitchy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the fucking summer, where is it? <laughs> I had not done. And it dried up all the rain. And the itchy bitchy spider got kicked in the ass again. Hell yeah. That's close, Red. That's the number three. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a blue cut off shirt. Blue. Cut off short shorts and fucking blue flippy flops. That's what I always wear. I'm comfortable in that. Hell yeah. Well, you might want to be careful. It's thunderstorming. I uh, know. You're in it with this. Well, I'm just telling you whatever you want. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. Sweet lay. Hi, this is. Oh my god, I'm going to be dripping more fucking. Sure. I swear. Lightning's so going to strike me. I know it. That's my number one. Why? Chicken run once and I cut its head off. Is that paranormal? No, it just run around and then fell over dead. Oh, I guess not then. It's in that damn train. Oh, 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 oh no! I knew it. It's a fucking dangerous damn place! Ah! It's my chicken! What the hell? Nadine! I've been sizzled! Are you okay? I'm sparking. Is everything okay over there? Uh, I think Cleese has got fried. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm sparking flames out of my clothes. Bachelor number two? <laughs> yes. Do you believe in the paranormal? Of course I do. I used to fight ghosts and kick tendrils and crazy oh. fucking evil hands and dolls. It was scary work. I can imagine. Bachelor number three, do you believe in the paranormal? I do, I'm paranormal folk. 
So yes, I've seen some wild shit, I have to say, oh. and aliens, and you alloys. I think my house so is be for real. I can it's help it's you with my head. No problem. Hola. That's my number one. What? What was your most scariest experience? Red looks bad for it. I just got struck by light and then I think that pretty much rammed it up there. The number one. That was my scariest moment. Now my neck is fucking my howitz. I hope it doesn't happen again. Me either. That's for number three. What was your most scariest experience? Baby Ariel. <laughs> oh my god, it was awful. She's on here sometime and she is just, she's a murderer, you know that? I heard she talks of murdering people. She did murder people on here, many people on here. She's, I'm terrified, fucking that bitch. Hell. That's a terrifying shit there. Watch out, Fred. It's gotten close. I heard she was unkillable. I tried like she eight times. I couldn't kill her. <laughs> All right, Riley, let's go up to your last question. Well, this one's really bad. That's our number one. I'm a fresh. What? Oh, what was your worst state ever? My worst state ever? Oh. Oh, yeah. It was with a chicken. I was sitting there, there was a chicken on the table. I thought about killing her, but then she had these really pretty feathers. So I decided to ask her out on a date. You don't ask a fucking, never mind. Anyway, she sat there on the table squawking at me. I'm assuming she said, let's do it. So I said, okay. I took her by her wing and feathers come off. Well, she was bald on one side. Anyway, we're walking to the restaurant with one bald Damn. feather arm breath. I don't know, wing. The other one had feathers on it. We went inside Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's where I always love to go, you know. And she was squawking like hell because we had chicken to eat. She ends up picking me in the fucking eye. I, I thought I was gonna go blind. <laughs> then she took off fucking running out the oh. gosh damn door and got hit by a bus. I ended up cooking her anyway. That was my worst date ever. Oh my god. That was awful, poor chicken. Oh my god, hell. Bachelor number two, what was your worst date ever? <laughs> uh. Let me say her. Her took the rain stop. Thank God. One of my worst dates ever. Ooh. I went down to the quarry to go fishing with this pretty little girl. Her name was Beatrice <laughs> Bumbles. <laughs> and she was not really a fisherwoman, I don't imagine. She complained the whole time I couldn't catch a fish for nothing. I told her, I she said, you need too. to be quiet when you're fishing. She <laughs> said, I don't like fishing. I said, then why did you come fishing with me? She said, I have no idea. You're a dumbass. It hurt my feelings. I started crying right there on the banks of the quarry. She kicked me in the shin and walked off and stole my damn car. I had to walk four miles back home. Then I found out later she wrecked it. Hit a tree and totaled my dang car. Now, I don't ever want to see her again. <laughs> Bachelor number three, what was your worst date ever? 
Well, I'm sorry that no. happened to you. Thank you. It still brings back on memories. Huh. You didn't deserve to be called that. Thank you very much. You're very sweet young lady. Oh. Well, thank you. I'm sure you're very smart and very handsome. Thank you. No one's ever called me smart before. <laughs> See, Nadine, someone does think I'm smart. Oh. Well, good for you, Cletus. I'm being nice today because you got struck by lightning. Thank you, Nadine. You gonna move to Windenburg with me? I'm oh, staying in Brenner today. Come All here. right, Dean. We'll be Tebow. Good near. Bachelor number Ruba. three was your worst date ever. Ah, crazy. Oh. Well, let me <laughs> say her. Oh, God, it brings back some awful memories. I took this pretty young girl to the ice cream parlor one time. I was probably about nine oh. years old. We I mean, we were we went to school together and stuff, you know. And we were sitting there one day, and it was a hot old day, and I said, hey. Unga. I said, Cindy Lou, who, Perfect you want to go to? That wasn't a real name. Her name was Cindy Lou. I said, you want to go get some ice me. cream? She said, oh, Maybe sure, Ish. I had talking hot out here. I said, all right, then. I said, we'll walk down there and we'll get us the thing of ice cream. I'm trying to the Ward won the lottery. He's already fucking rich. What the hell? Oh, well. Thanks for the announcement, Fred. Oh, okay. There's more monsters. Oh, God, Fred. Huh. Yeah, that's turning it up. Ain't no problem. Anyway, we sitting there inside the ice cream parlor shop. It's nice and cool and in there, air conditioned now. And I said, Cindy Lee, what kind of ice cream do you want? She said, well, I don't know. They got 30 side flavors. <laughs> I said, well, don't you have a favor? She said, well, not really. I said, all right, then. I said, go ahead and, you know, I guess you can just kind of look over and pick you something. Slew for well, she's standing Mr. there in that man Zerpanich. back there, and he said, what would you like to order? And she said, I don't know yet. I got to look at all the flavors you got. She said, can you Supposed go through the list? He went through them fucking the list of 30 Prima whatever Desa. fucking flavors there were. He said, now which one would you like to, to, get, like to get? And she said, I don't know. He said, well, can you step aside? Let me get on these other customers. There's just people standing in line that done backed up all night fucking outside. And she said, no, I was here uh -huh. first, and I'm not leaving and moving aside till I get my ice cream. <laughs> he said, well, young lady, what kind of ice cream do you want? She said, I don't know. Give me some samples. He said, we don't give out samples. You, you just have to pick one. Range. We're going to tell. <laughs> he said, I want the samples. I want them named. He said, they'll, well, I'm sorry. I don't give out samples. It's a waste Mom. of ice cream. Ah, if, I, if I did that to everybody, Stone. I wouldn't have no ice them. cream to serve. <laughs> <laughs> so she went ahead and started stomping around the damn fucking store. Kicking shit. Fucking destroying shit. Knocking over fucking chairs and tables. He went over and he said, young lady, you got to stop that shit. She sat there and kicked him right in his fucking balls. He went down on the fucking floor and I was like, oh my God. Really, Sandy Lou? She went back there and took a fucking damn ice cream scoop. Started fucking scooping every fucking one of them fucking 30-something flavors. Eating and eating and eating the shit. And, and fucking, after about, I'd say, probably about the 15th scoop. She started puking projectile all over the fucking store. People were running out the gosh damn door. I ran out the fucking door. I had enough of that shit. She ran out the fucking door, still projectile puking. I was trying to run out of the fucking way not to get projectile puked on. And wouldn't you know it, she fucking caught me and fucking puked all over the fucking cheeks of my fucking ass. I went home with fucking puke dripping off my fucking ass. My mama was fucking pissed off. It was nasty. And I'd ever want to see that girl again. That was an awful damn day. Oh. All right. We'll be right back to this brief commercial, Fred. My God. All right. Thank you for that fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial again. Ah! Ha 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 Oh, God, Fred. Riley, would you pick to like to pick? Would you like to pick Bachelor number one? Um. Bachelor number two. 
or bachelor number three? It sounds like you'd be a nice guy to hang out with. But... Well, thank you. Oh, I'm, a, I'm one of those people you just hang out with. Be friends. That's fine. I'll be your friend. And I'm a huge fan of you, Ed. But, well, thank you, but, you know, it's all right. I understand. You're kind of young. But I really feel sorry for bachelor number two. Why, thank you. So I'd like to get to know him. All right, Cletus, come on out. I'm kind of dirty. I got struck by lightning. You're pretty and Thank very you. sweet. Thank you. You look really handsome. I do. I'm burnt and sizzle <laughs> from head to toe. Where do you want to go? Uh, how about we I'll go to the pizza fire. somewhere? That sounds good. That sounds good to me. I want to go. Hell yeah, I love pizza. Oh, never mind. You're having a date. I got to clean up. I can't go to Pizza Hut looking like this. Oh, you can go shower first. Thank you. You're very sweet. You're Fred! Right. I got to see half my face. Oh, Fred! No, thank you, Fred. All right. Looks like a pretty good date, I'd say. Thank God she didn't pick ah. evil Colonel Sanders. Stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new minigame on Teak Fart Spells. Have a nice evening! Thank you so much, team. I think Cletus and Ryder are getting along pretty well, you know, for just meeting and everything. But actually a decent, I think, couple, maybe. Who knows? And God knows, Leroy Cutter Sanders, I'm sure he will be back at some point again because he loves his Kentucky Fried Chicken. I just, just so much love these. And I have to say... Through all these videos I've done this weekend, Nicole still has to get hers done today, which is later. This computer is absolutely amazing. It runs, I mean, compared to the other one, and I thought the other one we had was decent when we got it. It was a good computer. But this one, it, it just, it's amazing how, how smoothly everything runs. And I think the videos will be in better quality for sure. I hope you enjoy them. I so much enjoy doing them. Thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Chicken. Eat it. No. I'm gonna get you, Fred. Cross my butt. Fred, watch it. Bye. No, I mean for him, he might get your ass. Oh. <laughs>